What's up, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius? What's going on with y'all? Let's get into your next 48. Hope you all are doing well. Sending you guys lots of love, positive energy. Welcome back if you are returning. And welcome if you are new and tapping in for the first time. I'm happy to have each and every one of you here with me. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Let's get into your next 48. Somebody here could be having like some issue with their skin. That's a download I'm getting. Some of you may need to make an appointment with the dermatologist. Some of you could be finding out that you have like psoriasis or like um, eczema, okay? But um, something about like itchy skin or a rash or dry skin. Something here going on with somebody's scalp as well. Um, but yeah, you may just have eczema, baby, or like a small, like, um, like, a um, like I, I feel like it's, it's not that serious. I'm hearing acute, A-C-U-T-E, acute, like something minor. I don't really feel like it's an, an extreme case. It could just be something small. It could be the weather change, the cold, right? I'm, I'm just getting that. I'm getting something about somebody's skin or scalp. And I feel like it has a lot to do with a weather change um, or your hormones or something. But I don't really feel like it's anything to worry about. I, I'm getting here that it's very minor um, and you may just get like prescribed an ointment, just a medicated ointment and you'll be fine. It's, it's not going to be that serious. It's not going to be that deep. It's not going to be like on your face or anything like that. I'm just getting that it could be like just small dry patches in the scalp, so scalp psoriasis or eczema or something like that. Um, dermatitis is what I just heard, something like that. But it's not going to be anything um, crazy. Like I just, I, I don't know. I just, that's the download I'm getting for some of y'all. That's for somebody. But it's like I said, it's nothing serious. It's nothing that you can't easily um, combat. And then some of y'all may just need to re-up because you could have already been using ointment, but maybe you need to re-up and you need to go get your actual prescribed ointment, okay? Stop going to the store and getting a vino lotion and shit like that. You need to go get your refill of your actual ointment that they gave you the first time around, boo. Stop trying to substitute and shit like that. Go get the ointment that they gave you the first time around. That's for somebody. I don't know who that's for, but child, it done came out. That's the download I'm getting. Somebody here going to feel caught. They're going to feel seen. Y'all may feel attacked. I'm sorry. Just go get your ointment. Stop trying to, um, stop trying to, uh, some shit you just, you can't duplicate. You can't substitute. Go get your real ointment, okay? You know, damn well, that shit ain't helping you the way it's supposed to. Lay that fucking Jergens alone. <laughs> no shade to Jergens. I'm just saying. You like what about the Nivea though? No, that's not gonna do it either. Go get the real ointment that they gave you the last time, y'all. <laughs> oh shit. So that's for somebody. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Cancer. Okay, fire signs. You got water energy coming through heavy. Some of y'all could be dealing with water signs. Or somebody here could have strong water in their chart. Somebody here said, don't say it's over, they coming back. Some of y'all, this could be a long distance situation, but I feel like somebody here definitely is saying that they don't want something to be over with you, okay? Somebody here is trying to make their way towards you. They want another chance. They saying, please, like, please. Yeah. Um, Fire signs. There you are. You showing up as the queen of wands. They go that six of swords in the reverse again. I'm telling you, somebody here, it's like... I'm, I'm getting for some of y'all, somebody that ghosted you is about to just pop up out of no fucking weird. Y'all could have been dealing with somebody at some point in the past and maybe things just ended weird. Like maybe you just ghosted them. They just ghosted you. Something weird happened where you just kind of fell off with somebody. That person about to pop up out of no fucking weird. I can assure you of that. Um, Somebody here could be a Sagittarius moon. Something significant about somebody's moon placement being in Sag. Somebody here could also have a Pisces moon. But I'm telling you, somebody here that y'all haven't heard from, or somebody that ghosted y'all or just treated you like an option or made you feel like, you know, maybe they was losing interest, they wasn't really that interested, nothing could have got off the ground with you and this person, they gonna come out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. They gonna pop back up on the scenes like ain't nothing happened. They gonna fucking come out of nowhere and hit y'all up. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. 
That's what I see. <laughs> some of y'all say, <laughs> some of y'all said y'all ain't answering this person. You gonna ignore them. You gonna act like you don't even see that shit. <laughs> Ray Charles to the bullshit. <laughs> y'all funny. Five signs, y'all funny. What's up, Aries Leo Sag? There you go, showing up as the Queen of Wands yet again. Shit, you manifesting some new shit. You avoiding conflict. You don't want to fight and argue with nobody. There could be a Queen of Swords in the reverse that's dying to fight with you that you release. Like somebody here just trying to pick a bone with you. This person's very codependent. I feel like, yo, I just told Libra a similar message. Like somebody wants to drain you of your energy by arguing with you. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, that's what's happening here, five signs. Y'all got the same message. I just told Libra this not too long ago that somebody wants to drain them by arguing with them. Five signs, same shit, same shit. There's a queen of swords in the reverse. It, it, this person just wants your attention. That's all. They just want your attention. This is somebody that y'all could have stopped communicating with. Y'all release this person. Y'all stop dealing with them. Somebody here could have strong Capricorn placements or strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius placements. But somebody here mad because you're not dealing with them no more, they still codependent on you and they just want your attention. Even if it's negative attention, they just want your attention. This person is deliberately trying to start conflict with you with this five of swords. It's like they just want to fight. They just want your attention. Because you could be resting right now. Five signs, I feel like you taking a fucking break. Something about you needing a break. Some of y'all could be spending time alone. You could just be chilling. Like, I just feel like you don't want to be, you don't want to be bothered. Something about you not really in the mood to talk to too many people. You just, you want some me time. That's what I'm getting. You taking some time out for yourself. You want some me time. All right. And this person just won't leave you the fuck alone. Yeah, it's a Capricorn. For some of y'all, it's a Capricorn. This person just wants you to like say some slick shit to them so that y'all can go back and forth. I feel like this person know how to trigger you too. So don't let them get the best of you, y'all. Don't. All right. I feel like whoever this is, they do know what to say, what to do to trigger you. And it's a Capricorn for some of y'all. Strong Capricorn. Oh, and somebody here could have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius in their child, whether them or you. But this person is like they know what to do. Like whoever this is, they know you very well. Y'all could have fought and argued a lot in the past. It's like they know exactly what to do, what to say. That's going to have you like, motherfucker, what? <laughs> This person just mad because you don't want them. They, they, that's what they mad. They mad because you don't want them. They mad because you avoiding them. You look at them as someone that's toxic. You avoid a conflict. You protecting your energy, protecting your peace, cleansing your space. You very strong. You very powerful. You have full control over yourself. You've mastered yourself. You don't give your power away easily. And if you did in the past before, you're you've grown, you've elevated, you've transformed, you've healed. So it's not the same. You're not the same person you was in the past. You're not about to argue with this person. I just feel it. Y'all not. You too happy. You too healed. The star and the sun. It's like you're focused on yourself. You focused on loving yourself, raising your vibration, keeping your vibration high. You're not about to stoop to this person level. You're not, to, you're not about to lower your vibration to argue with this person. Absolutely not. I don't get paid to argue with you. No, you mad. <laughs> you big mad. I'm hearing plies. Y'all remember that video that went viral, right? That plies video that went viral. That's what I'm hearing. You mad. You big mad. Yeah, this person definitely big mad. Yeah, you've made a conscious decision to just move forward. No grudges. No ill intent, no bad wishes, no evil eye. Just loving life, loving you, staying out of trouble, minding your business, drinking your water, staying beautiful. You absolutely beautiful, uh, fire signs. You are so pretty. Whoever you are, you so pretty, baby. Strong Leo energy here, by the way, with the sun and the strength back to back. But you so pretty, fire signs. So pretty. Mm -hmm. And everything going your way, boom. Look at that. Magician to the will of fortune. I just clarified the magician with the fucking will of fortune and the upright and the lovers. Everything that you love is growing. Everything you touch turns to gold. You got the Midas touch. Everything you love, it, it grows. Yo, you a master manifester, fire signs. Everything you touch turn to fucking gold. If you say you're going to do something, you do it. If you say something going to happen, it happens. It's like... You create in, in a way that you truly are magic. Whoever I'm I'm channeling right now, oh yeah, motherfuckers ain't motherfuckers ain't just walking around with this kind of sauce, this kind of 
this kind of gift. Like, <laughs> baby, you, you take nothing, turn it into something. You create beautiful things, extraordinary things out of absolutely nothing. Wow. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. Self-made millionaire for some of y'all. Y'all about to be self-made mil millionaires if y'all not already. Something about money where you just able to create it. It's like money growing trees for you. I don't know who the fuck I'm talking to, but money grows on trees for you. Mm-hmm. Bitch, can you tell me what you do? All right, I could I could use a little tip, sis. Help you help your tribe, sis, out. Because the shit growing trees for you. It just flow to you, river flow. <laughs> okay? Okay, bitch. Like, what the fuck? Yo, you put out a number or some shit. I ain't gonna give all your, your shit away that I'm seeing, but it's something here about you putting out a number, just speaking it into existence. Like, you just create whatever amount you want to make. Like, it's something here like that. I, bitch, woo, you powerful. Okay, I give people they flowers. I give credit where credit's due. You are a bad motherfucker, man. It's like something about like, yeah, I'm gonna make uh, 30,000 30, next week. Like, I think I wanna pull in about 30K next week. And your ass make that shit too. I don't know how the fuck you be doing what you be doing, bitch, but kudos. <laughs> like, what the fuck, bitch? Oh, nah. I ain't even gonna hold you. My cash app be in my, um, nah, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> so I'm playing with you, bitch. I love you. I'm playing. But you could, you could help us out if you want to. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got shit I got to pay for right now. <laughs> I'm acting like that person in water signs reading. Not I'm begging. Somebody here could have a tourist moon. But somebody here just mad because you ain't going to help them. Now, this person begging. Look at this shit. I done spoke the bum up, child. Somebody here wants something from you and they ain't getting it. And it's just as simple as that. It ain't even worth talking about. Somebody here want a piece of your abundance. You generate wealth. You are wealth. You are a money fucking magnet. Whoever you are, you're a fucking money magnet, bro, sis. Wow. Like, yo, this energy is so beautiful. Wow. God love you. You one of his favorite. Mm -hmm. God favors you. Yeah, he do. He really do. You a chosen one. Mm -hmm. Whoever I'm talking to, whoever I, whoever I done picked up on, yeah, five signs. You a chosen one. You are a favorite. Mm -hmm. You favorite. You one of his favorite. You one of God's favorite. Mm -hmm. God has favorite children. He has chosen ones. Yes, he do. You one of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you do right by him. And that's why you bless the way you bless. Because you obedient. You do right by him. You do right by your Abba, your creator, the most high. You do right by your father. Mm -hmm. And he do right by you. Wow. He bless you so nicely. Mm-hmm. Wow. You're going to be rich if you're not already. You're going to be wealthy. Excuse me. Difference. Past rich, you're going to be wealthy. Generating wealth. Uh, generational wealth. Mm -hmm. Building generational wealth. A legacy. An empire. Your kids' kids going to be eating. Your children, children's is eating. Everybody eating. It's giving everybody eating. The babies that ain't even been born. Your grandbabies that ain't even been bought up. The, your grandbabies that haven't even been brought up or thought about yet, they eating. Everybody eating. Everybody straight. Everybody straight. <laughs> For real. Lobsters and shrimp and steak. Everybody straight. Whatever you want. Yeah, supersize it up. It don't matter. You can get the large. Yeah. Mommy got money. Daddy got money. Like, y'all motherfuckers is wealthy. Somebody here feel like that's an injustice. <laughs> Somebody hate, somebody hate y'all, okay? Somebody is jealous of y'all. Everything that I'm saying, one of your haters notice about you and they hate you for it. They hate the fact that you're a money magnet. Fuck out of here. Who the fuck you think you are, fire signs? Ain't nobody supposed to have all that fucking money for no fucking reason. Fuck you doing with all that money over there. That's how somebody feel about y'all. <laughs> Tell them don't count your shit. Tell them mind their fucking business and not to count your pockets. <laughs> Fire signs. I ain't even gonna hold you, baby. You got it. You got it made. Mm-hmm. Six of wands. Yeah, you got it made. Mm-hmm. You a high priestess. <laughs> Shit. Bitch. Yo. 
salute, man. Thank you for checking my channel out. Thank you for uh, watching me and shit. I appreciate it. Um, but you showing up as the high priestess and shit. The strength, the sun, six of wands, the star. Yeah, some of y'all could be in a public eye. You could have a spiritual business that's about to have you on a fucking mat. This shit going, you going to blow the fuck up. Or some of y'all could already be in this energy. I'm telling you, somebody here is a millionaire or a billionaire. Or you are, you a are self-made multi-millionaire. You on your way to billionaire status. Like, bro, what the fuck, bro? Like, yo, who am I talking to? I ain't even going to say her name, but that's the energy I get. Mm -hmm. She a fire sign, too. That's the energy I get from her. Oh, man. Yeah. Yo. What? Yo, fire signs. Nah, man. This shit crazy. Like, you know, like, you was royal. You royalty. You got royal blood. And it's something here where, like, you was royal in your past lives, too. Like, you was never meant to, like, work too hard. And if you ever had to work hard in this lifetime, trust and believe that was due to, like, haters doing shit before you knew who you truly was. Because it's like you were supposed to have a easy life. Like, you were supposed to be born into wealth. Like, even your parents could have just been, like, um always taking care of it straight because you was their child. Like, literally anything connected to you is a, is a money magnet like anything connected to you anything feeding you fueling you like yeah you supposed to be spoiled rotten like you supposed to be one of i hope that's the kind of life you had for some of you it's not and that's unfortunate because that's not how it was supposed to go like some of y'all was supposed to out the straight out the womb spoil rotten just money everywhere everybody got money everybody eating no no if you eating top ramen, if you eating oodles and noodles and peanut butter jelly sandwiches, because you just like it, that's what you wanted, that's what you asked for. Not because that's what your parents had to give you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just given, like, yo, what? Like, nah, this shit. Mm. Do you know who you are? You got to know who you are because you are showing up as the high priestess. So I feel like either you starting to know who you are or you, you already tapped fully in. You know who you are. You that, you that bitch. <laughs> you, that, you, that, you that one. Yeah, you that one. Numero uno. Mm -hmm. One on one. Mm -hmm. You one on one, bitch. <laughs> okay? What Beyonce said, I'm one on one. I'm the only one. Yeah, the fuck? Damn. Shit, sis. <laughs> like, fuck, bitch. Fuck it up. I ain't mad at you, yo. God put you in a position to give back and to bless others. And I feel like you do that too, or you will do that. And you're going to keep getting blessed. You you know that's how it's going to go, right? Yeah, y'all know. Y'all know y'all can't be stingy with it. God put you in a position like this to bless others. You know you know the Lord wants you to give back, you know? Yeah. Do something good with that money. Help the world, help the planet, help the babies, help the children. Help, yeah, help the women that's in domestic violence situations and stuff. Yeah. Something significant about a domestic violence um, shelter and stuff. You may donate to those kind of shelters. Or you thinking about it. Yeah, you should. You should. Yeah. Sagittarius energy here. Yeah, fire signs. Damn, yo. You are earth angels. <laughs> Temperance and the high priestess. And the star and the sun and the strength and the, whew, baby, the magician. Oh, man. Look at this Queen of Pentacles in reverse hating on y'all. I told you somebody mad. Somebody here mad about your, your status, your position. Like, you, yo, this person, this could be somebody in y'all family. I felt that. I knew that shit was going to come out. Somebody here could have strong Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Scorpio in their chart. Somebody here could be a Scorpio moon. When I tell you this bitch a hater, she a, she a family member for some of y'all. Or a friend of the family. Somebody you grew up with. This bitch is a hate. She been hating on you since y'all was kids, child. It's a woman. A distorted feminine that's been hating on y'all since y'all was kids. She could be doing okay for herself too. But she want to be the only one in that position. Like, whoever this bitch is, she's weird. It's like, she not hurting for nothing. Whoever this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is, I'm strongly feeling like this is not somebody that's 
they may be very money hungry and do anything for money but whoever this is they not broke they not in poverty shit they may even have more than you right now but it ain't gonna always be like that you know what i'm saying you about to surpass them but it's some or some of y'all have already but it's something here where it's like she good like she's straight she need to count her fucking blessings before god humble her and strip her I done seen many people have a fall from fucking grace for not being grateful for what they had too busy counting somebody else shit and comparing themselves to others. I done seen it happen multiple times. Whoever this is, she need to be careful with that because I'm getting that she is blessed. But it's something here where <clears throat> she just be watching you and it's like even if you don't have as much as she do right now, she know that she see your potential. So she see... It's something in you that she see where she know you going to be like wealthy or somebody powerful, somebody big or something like that. And it's like she just she already mad. Like she already hating. She hating on shit that ain't even happened yet for you because she just feel it. She know your path. She know your destiny or some shit like that. And it's like whoever this is, it's like they want to be the only ones. Like it's weird. Like it's weird energy with her, bro. Like y'all probably don't fuck with this person, especially with the eight of cups. Y'all definitely could have like. Stop communicating with this person. Stop chilling with this person. Hanging out with this person. Even if this is a family member, you wrote this bitch off. Like, you don't really talk to her like that. Because you you knew she was jealous of you. Her envy is felt. Her energy very strong. She got a Scorpio moon for some of y'all. But whoever this queen of pentacles in the reverse is, her energy is felt. Like, it's like you could feel it. She can't hide it. Even if she try, it's like it vibrates off of her. Her hate and jealousy is felt. She could smile in your face, show all her fucking teeth. It's something about her energy where you just feel it. And then with you showing up as a high priestess, come on. I know you feel that shit. We know when people be hating. We could feel that shit. We, you ain't got to say nothing. We just, we feel it. We know when you hating. So she is a hater, for real. Or for shit that ain't even happened yet for y'all, she hating. And she don't like your personality because she jealous. She wish she had that. This could be a bitch with a real boring personality. Or she just don't really, she hasn't really found herself yet. She hasn't really come into her own. Something about her is just weird. Like she just, I don't know. She off. Like she don't, she not comfortable in her skin. She insecure. She look at you like, yo, you know, you funny or you bold and People just gravitate towards you. People just like you. People look up to you. They they ask you for advice. Especially if you're very spiritual. You already tapped into your gifts. You have a spiritual business or whatever it is that you do for some of you. It's like she look at you like, damn, like everybody look up to you. Everybody love you. Everybody support you. Like that's what she wants. She want to be, especially if you're in the public eye, this bitch want fame. Something here about her wanting the fame. She fuck. She want the money too, obviously, but she want the fame. Like, this is somebody that want fame. They want to be in the spotlight. They want to be seen. They want to be heard. Like, they 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 die for, for attention. This is attention whore, attention seeker. And she ain't getting nothing. She ain't getting no attention like that for real. She could even try to do similar, something similar to what you doing for some of you. And she ain't even built like that. She don't know nothing about nothing. And even if you, like, let's just say you a reader. Because some of y'all can even be readers. This bitch tried to buy a, a, a deck of cards. She got a deck of cards somewhere hiding in her house. Mm -hmm. She probably wouldn't tell nobody that. But she tried to see, like, if she got the gift and shit. Like, it's something here where she just tried to imitate you. Like, what make you so special? Like, I got a gift to her. I can learn the cards. <laughs> like, bitch, sit your rabbit ass down, for real. The fuck? She's annoying. I can read cards, too. Anybody can read cards and study the cards. Yeah, but it's the difference between an intuitive reader and somebody that is just learn some fucking cards, a tarot reader. It's a big difference. And whoever the fuck I done picked up on, oh, bitch, you the truth. You a seer. You don't even need the fucking cards. It's just an extra tool. It's for entertainment purposes. It's for the public. It's for the people. You don't need no fucking cards. You can look at a picture and read a motherfucker down. <laughs> okay? You got the real gift. <laughs> real recognized, real bitch. You got the real gift. You a seer. You was, you was born with this shit. She just ain't her, period. It ain't nothing else. It ain't nothing else to it. She a fucking hater. Fucking hate her. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a vertical Taurus Capricorn. Somebody with a Scorpio moon. That's significant. Something about a Scorpio moon here. Yeah. yeah. She could be connected to a Taurus or a Cancer. She's a fucking hate her. Fuck her. Who cares? Like, why the fuck this bitch in y'all message? I'm confused. All this beautiful, powerful energy you got. Who the fuck is this hoe? Who cares? It's a sibling for some of y'all. It's a family member for some of y'all. Somebody y'all grew up with. Somebody y'all known since y'all's kids. 
could be a, fam a friend of the family for some of y'all that's not your actual family member this person going through a time moment oh she, she is about to have a fall for grace for some of y'all i felt it i said what i said when you like when you in a position where god is blessing you and you still want more or you greedy or you count in other people pockets or you comparing yourself and you're not being grateful for what you already have you lose shit that way i feel like she's taking some sort of loss here there's some sort of tower moment tower to the five of pentacles she's taking some sort of loss here mm -hmm, that's her judgment she gonna be able to bounce back from this, but it's like it's just a quick little sting here for her. Mm -hmm. Something going on with her home too. She don't like her home, or she wanna move. She wanna be in a different home. She could be moving the homes a lot. Something about this woman, like she move in short amount of time. She's never satisfied. She never happy, or something always going on with her home. Mm. Yeah, she a distorted feminine or empress in the reverse. Telling you something about strong Scorpio energy. She got a Scorpio moon for some of y'all. Strong Scorpio placements here. And she she could have strong earth. Virgo towards Capricorn. But whoever this is, I mean, fuck them. It don't matter. She don't matter. She a non-fucking factor. I feel like there's somebody you don't see eye to eye with. You don't respect. You don't get along with. You don't care to. You don't give a fuck. Okay? No love lost. But she, you about to hear about something or see something when it comes to her unhappiness or her home or her karma or some shit something going on with her but um it could be because she's just wishing you ill or just jealous just simply her being jealous and just counting your shit now she losing her own shit she need to tighten up my her business stop comparing herself to you y'all definitely there is no comparison here whatsoever at all um you also got an emperor coming in fire signs. You got a divine masculine here. This person showing up as the emperor. But I also feel like you carry this emperor energy. Man or woman. You just a fucking boss, whoever you are. You carry this fucking emperor energy. You the emperor and the empress. You every fucking thing, period. Like, you so... Bitch, you the shit, okay? Can we be friends? <laughs> shit, you definitely part of my soul tribe, sis. Like, come on. Let's be friends, girl. Yeah, let's be sisters. <laughs> And that, in the same way I feel about you and your energy, this is how people feel about you. People just gravitate towards you. And she jealous of that. People don't gravitate towards her the way they gravitate towards you. People don't find her funny. She boring. She bland. This bitch is boring. Whoever she is, she boring. I feel like you laugh. You the life of the party. Or you bring people around. You make people feel safe. You you just you give great advice. You a healer. You tap into your power. A lot of y'all could even be readers and messengers. It's like people just fuck with you heavy. And she like, oh, what's so special about you, fire signs? You're not that cool. I've known you since we were kids. You're not even that cool. People don't even understand that you're not really even that cool. <laughs> this bitch is trash, bro. She a hater. This shit crazy, yo. I promise that's how she be looking and talking. You're not even that pretty. You're not even that funny. You're not even that gifted. Anybody can read those cards. <laughs> like, yo, why she a hater, bro? She's salty. This bitch crazy. <laughs> nah, I'm getting a kick out of this. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm getting a kick out of this. Fuck it, though. You don't care about this shit. She just in y'all energy because she watch y'all. She study y'all. Mm -hmm. She study y'all. There's a king of pentacles or an emperor coming towards you, though. Mm -hmm. Big daddy. Somebody that match your energy. Somebody that's about it, about it. King of pentacles to the emperor. Divine masculine energy. Do I look good, Mr. Armstrong? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This could be somebody at a distance from y'all, but that's about to change. They're about to come closer. And there's a king of wands in the reverse from your past that's finding this out. And this person is mad. This person could feel stuck. They could also want to come towards you. But there's some sort of divine intervention keeping this person away from you. And they're mad because you're celebrating with a new emperor, a king of pentacles. You've manifested this. You have a new divine counterpart. This king of wands in the reverse could be somebody that you had a contract with at some point. But of course, these motherfuckers sabotage it and ruin it. Um, I feel like I told y'all something like that the other day. I said your so-called emperor is in heavy regret now, fire signs. 
And that's who the fuck this King of Wands in the reverse is. This person could also be a fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. But whoever this is, they're mad because you have a new contract. It's like God has literally put together a new contract for you. And it's here. It's here. It's happening. This person here. They coming. If they haven't already. It's coming in fast. Eight of Wands. It's coming in fast. It's coming in fast. Hot and ready, bitch. Like a little Caesar's pizza. That's how your ass about to be. You're going to be a little hot pocket for this person. Something about the sex being the best sex you ever had. The best love making. Best love making you ever had is what I heard. Something about this person hitting all the spots. Like, something about this person just touching you and your body fucking light up. It's like they touch you and you come alive. Like, y'all chemistry is going to be off the chain. Oh, well. Your so-called emperor that uh, fucked up the contract between you two. That's just that on that. They just going to have to live with that. Ain't nothing you can do about it. Because there's a new contract here with somebody else. And that's who you're going to be with. That's who you're choosing. And I'm telling you, everything about this person just going to be... Delicious. Mm-hmm. Best love making you ever had is what I'm seeing. And then all this fucking money and shit. Like, yo, fire signs, your life, right? Your life about to be a fucking movie, sis. I'm excited for you. I'm be listen, whoever you are, make your presence known, girl, so I could be so I could watch you and and, and be cheering you on too. Okay? Cause I love to see people happy. Especially people like just that just are vibes. Like you're a vibe. You're a good person. You got a good heart. You got a good soul, man. I could tell. Like I said, you are earth angel, yo. Temperance, empress, queen of wands, high priestess, justice, will of fortune, magician. Like, come on, baby. Like you can't make this energy up. You can't fake this. You can't buy this. You can't wear this. Mm, this shit is in you. This is who you are. You're lovely. And you deserve everything God has in store for you. And I pray that God just continues to keep blessing you and you continue to be a blessing to others. You are a blessing to many people. You help a lot of people. You touch a lot of souls or you soon will. That's a part of your life purpose to touch the masses, to heal a lot of people, to help to help heal others, right? To give people the tools and the guidance and, and the advice and, and, and everything that they need in order to heal themselves. You give people what they need in order to heal themselves. You teach people how to heal themselves. This is nice. You're your life purpose. There's so much more in store for you, though. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, girl. Just the beginning, baby. It's just the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's just the beginning. Something significant about an eagle. Some of you resonate with the eagle spirit. Something about birds being, of course, birds are spiritual messengers. You may be seeing certain birds or you may be feeling called to like look up eagles and stuff like that. Some of you could even be having a dream about certain birds, but you get a lot of different messages, um, synchronicities, a lot of downloads, pay attention to your dreams, all of that. I ain't telling you nothing you already know, but it's just like you get in downloads, you get a lot of messages during this time. You are the shit. Oh, you the shit. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you the shit, girl. Mm. Mm hmm You the shit. God damn. Bitch, just rub some of that. Rub some of that abundance on me. Make me an oil. Make me an oil. I'll buy it. <laughs> Yo, you part of my soul tribe. I love you. I love you. I love your energy. Congratulations, fire signs. Continue to be that big boss bitch that you is, honey. A big boss bitch. You could be from the South. I'm hearing that song. I'm from the South, too. Well, I was... My my family, a lot of my family from the South, okay? I got them Southern roots, too. But somebody here could be born from the South. Mm, shit, we might be cousins, bitch. But I'm hearing um that song by Lotto. Because I'm a real ass, trill ass bitch from the South. <laughs> uh, you the shit. All right, I'm going to talk to y'all. I love y'all. Love you so much. 
Um, as far as your next 48, just expect miracles, blessings, more money, just everything. Shit, whatever the, whatever amount you said you was going to make in the next 48 hours is coming in. Like, something about you saying certain amounts and you just making the shit, okay? So, whatever you said, like, you want, what you want? You want 80000 by next Tuesday? Yeah, it's on the way. <laughs> the fuck? The money here is coming in. And, um... I just feel like you about to see something when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles new reverse that I was talking about. But I feel like you don't care. You don't give a damn about what's going on with this person. And I feel you. <coughs> <coughs> and I feel like your emperor could be exposing himself if he hasn't already exposing himself. That sounds weird. But he could be revealing himself to you. Some of y'all haven't actually coming to union yet or really had a conversation with this person yet for some of y'all but um it's a past life soulmate for sure spirit said it's a past life soulmate it's somebody that a new contract was built with there's a new contract that formed for you too and because your other emperor played himself basically and you about to go into union with this person if you haven't already y'all about to start uh you know Getting familiar with each other and shit. Mm -hmm. This person coming into your energy is strong. And something about this person touching you and you coming alive, bitch. It's like fireworks. As soon as this person put their hand on you, it's fucking fireworks everywhere. This you, bitch, you gonna be running like a faucet. This motherfucker just gonna give you one look and your shit gonna be on river mode. <laughs> Oh, get it how you live, sis. You might fuck around, get had his, had a, had his motherfucker baby. Might fuck around, get this person a little angel, a little mini you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, because you're going to be flowing like a river. This motherfucker going to give you one touch, one look, and that shit going to be just flowing, just just wet, wet, water, just aqua, just aquafina, just river. I don't mean to be all in your energy like this, but spirit, I can't help but come out. You know how spirit talk to us. Shit. Your shit gonna be wet, wet, bitch. <laughs> I love you, fire signs. I love y'all so much. Hugs and kisses. Mwah. Love you, baby. I'm gonna talk to y'all soon. Congratulations on everything God has in store for you. I'm so excited for you and your life. I'm gonna be watching, cheering you on, sis. I'm so excited for y'all. I love y'all. May God continue to bless you. All right, you are truly be you are truly blessed. You are truly favored. You are truly anointed. All right, don't you ever forget that shit. Yo, you powerful as fuck. Whoever the fuck you are, yo. <laughs> like, I'm gonna talk to y'all. Bye.